Good morning, everybody. It is May 5th, and we are in language arts. So yesterday and the day before, um, Friday, you guys took a common assessment. Well, if you don't think you did that well, today is your chance to retake. So we are doing a redo. Uh, we're going to read a different passage, and you guys are going to take a seven-question quiz, um, and that grade will replace your common assessment grade. So let's do it. Um, first, you're going to read your opening, uh, your learning target, your mini lesson. You're going to read the passage. Really important that you read the passage for today. Your work period, you're just watching this video. You're listening to the read aloud. And your closing, you're going to take the seven question quiz. So our learning target says, I can determine a theme and or central idea of a text and how it is conveyed through particular details. So let's read the passage, guys, okay? Let's chunk it up. Television shows sounds and picture. They get data from cables, discs, or over-the-air signals. They turn this data into sounds and images. People watch t news and shows on them. You probably call them TVs. So they're introducing us. Obviously, this article is going to be about TVs. All right, let's keep reading. John Baird made the first TV in 1925. It had one color. It could only show 30 lines. This was just enough room for a face. It didn't work well, but it was a start. So now we're getting some history, okay? He's telling us the history of the first TV ever made. Let's keep going. The first TV station was set up in 1928. It was in New York. Few people had TVs. The broadcasts were not meant to be watched. They showed a Felix the Cat doll for two hours a day. The doll spun around on a record player. They were experimenting. It took many years to get it right. So now they're telling us they did test runs. They weren't really playing a show. They put a doll on the television and they kind of you know, experimented or they did test runs to see how well um, the TV could go. Next paragraph. By the end of the 1930s, TVs were working well. America got its first taste at the 1939 World's Fair. This was one of the biggest events ever. There were 200 small black and white TVs set up around the fair. The U.S. president gave a speech over the TVs. The TVs were only five inches big, but the people loved it. So this means that in 1938, what happened? The World's Fair. It means that the people were introduced to the TV for the first time. Hey, guys, this is a TV. Buy it, okay? Next paragraph. They wanted TVs, but the World War II was going on during this time. Factories were busy making guns and bombs. When the war was over, TV spread across the country. So what slowed down the spread of TVs? Well, World War II did, okay? They were making guns and bombs. They didn't have enough time to make TVs, okay? By 1948, there were four big TV networks in America. They aired their shows from 8 to 11 each night. Local shows were aired at other times. Most of the time, nothing was shown at all. TV was not always on like it is now. So a lot of the times, people would turn their TV stations on. There would just be a blank screen, okay? Color TV came out in 1953. That might be important, guys. Color TV came out in 1953. They cost too much money for most. Also, shows were aired in black and white. But by 1965, color TVs were cheaper. TV stations started airing shows in color. People had to switch if they wanted to see the shows. So in 1953, it was way too expensive to get a color TV. But a little over 10 years later, they finally started coming out with cheaper color TVs. And most of the TV shows were in color. So the only way people could watch it is if they went to the store and bought a color TV last paragraph. Now, most TVs are high def. This means that they have many lines on them. This makes the image clear. TVs have come a long way since Baird's 30 line set. High def TVs have 1,080 lines. There are state of the art sets called 4K TVs. These TVs have 3,840 lines. 
Some people watch TV in 3D. I wonder what they will come up with next. smell o vision anyone? So how many lines does 4K TVs have? 3,840 lines, okay? Um, so for your work period, you guys are just watching this video, okay? So the video will be right below here. I'll put it there. And then for your closing, you're going to go up here, click activities, click quizzes, okay? And I'm going to show you. I'm going to do a preview of the quiz. All right, let's do it. If it'll play, come on. There we go. It's going a little slow this morning, guys. Okay, so for the for instance, your first question, when did color TVs come out? Um, and then you can read again if you want to. I put the passages here again, and then you answer. Is it 1925, 1953, 1939, or 1965? Okay, number two. Why did the first television station only show Felix the Cat for two hours a day? They were running tests. Felix the Cat was really popular. Felix the Cat had been a big radio star. Or Felix the Cat was the only show that they had. Number three. Which of these events slowed the spread of TVs? Okay, so which one kind of stopped TVs from coming out? Was it the World Fair of 1939? The Civil War, the election of the United States President, World War II. Number four, what is the author's main purpose in writing this? So, you know, you read through this whole thing, and then what is the main purpose? He's trying to explain how a TV works. He is telling readers how TVs became popular. He is describing the history of the TV. Or he is trying to get people to watch more TV. Number five. Why did many families switch to color TVs in 1965? We'll scroll, find where it says color TV, okay? Maybe over here. Color TVs cost a lot of money. Many shows were only shown in color. Color TVs came out in 1965. World War II ended and troops returned home. Number six, why was 1939 an important year for TV? Okay, so then you find 1939, oop, right here, and read about it. Why was it so important? Many Americans were introduced to TV. The first color TV was released. The first TV station began broadcasting. John Baird created the first TV. How many lines does a 4K TV have? So you'd scroll to the end. You'd find over here 4K, figure out how many lines it has. Does it have 30? 1,080, 4,000, or 3,840, okay? So what I want you guys to know is that this is the same thing here and here and here, okay? Same article throughout the entire quiz, okay? Same article, same exact article. So I want you guys to take this today, turn it in, and that'll be your uh, makeup for that test. Thank you.